General Edward Kalekes Kaihura started his military journey in 1982 when he joined the National Resistance Army Bush War at the age of 26. When the NRM government captured power, Kaihura, who was also a law graduate, served in different capacities within the military up to 2005 when he was elevated to the position of Inspector General of Police. Kaihura's first years as IGP went fairly smoothly, but from 2009, he started becoming more associated with quelling protests and demonstrations. <laughs> One of Kaihura's methods of quelling protests was by using informal groups of civilians to confront the protesters, and this is how groups like the so-called Chiboko Squad and Boda Boda 2010 came to prominence. Even when the public criticized the police methods, the president showered Kaihura with praises. <laughs> However, over the years, crime rates kept rising and criminal gangs like infamous Chifesi crew grew more bold in their operations. There was also a spate of high-profile assassinations, especially of Muslim clerics, and the alleged mistreatment of opposition supporters became a common occurrence. In August last year, some citizens sued IGP, but when he was summoned to court in Machinde, the Boda Boda 2010 group mobilized and conducted a demonstration at the court premises, vowing to disrupt any proceedings against General Kaihura. However, what seemed to mark the beginning of the end of Kaihura's career as police chief was the March 2017 assassination of police spokesperson AIGP Andrew Felix Kawesi. During Kawesi's vigil, President Museveni warned Kali to put his house to order. So, police, clean your house. On other occasions, the president asked locals to provide him with evidence of crooked police officers for him to take action. Kastamfuna, and opera bulunji, eviyam bionye biyabakola, mugenda kolawa, chengenda kubakola. Kaihura's much publicized rivalry with Security Minister Lieutenant General Henry Tumukunde was yet another issue that did not bond well for the future of the police boss. It's alleged that Tumukunde used the military to arrest members of Boda Boda 2010 group in connection with the murder of case hospital accountant Francis Ekalunga. Most senior police officers were also later arrested on other charges. These actions were interpreted as intended to make Kaihura powerless. Warnings about the dangers of the rivalry and requests to fire the two fighting security personnel were sounded by different people. If those in charge of our security cannot consider resigning, let Parliament come and force them to resign. In the future, when a commission of inquiry is instituted against the police, I will testify that once upon a time we used to see criminals carrying sticks beating people in the name of controlling rights. Yesterday, the president with immediate effect fired both IGP Kale Kaihura and Security Minister Henry Tumukunde. Their vacation of offices leaves a question as to whether their replacements, IGP Martin Okotho Chola and Eli Tumwine respectively, will solve the issues in the police force and the failings in security management in the country. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.